Hi, what's up guys? We are back with another relaxing ASMR Nintendo loot video here at the Biplock. <laughs> um, and this week I'm pretty excited because I just got this in the mail today from Japan. We are going to be checking out the original game guide for Animal Crossing on the N64, which I think is pretty amazing. <laughs> um, so basically we are looking at Animal Crossing in its earliest form. Um, in case you don't know, Animal Crossing actually released on the Nintendo 64 in Japan. Now, um, I should probably point out, I have not looked at this yet. I have been waiting until this evening to check it out with you guys for the first time. So it could be pretty exciting. <laughs> I really like this. How there are trees for all the seasons. There is winter and spring, summer, and also fall. So we got the glossary, which we can't read. Oh, well, maybe we can kind of read it, because there are little symbols. Page 26 is furniture, I think. Wallpaper and flooring. I like those little icons. Starting off with a lot of the basics here. Your inventory and house. Oh, that's really crazy. Look at Tom Nook here. He's got like a bell and some sort of bandana and a vest. <laughs> His little smock has Japanese writing on it. Got your tools, the shovel, net, fishing rod, and axe. This was before the days of stuff like the watering can and the slingshot. Phyllis and Pelly, Copper and Booker, Porter. So this is kind of introducing everyone to all the buildings and the main characters. Some of the sites to see in your town, like the dump. This is really cool. The fountain, the wishing well, is different in the N64 game. It's like a little... It's like a little shrine. The melody board. Oh, that's pretty cool. I kind of miss that. It was really convenient to just go up to that and change it. Now, of course, you do that in the post office. Your main bulletin board. Talking about all the seasons. I should point out, <laughs> this book smells very interesting. It smells like paper... In Japan, I assume. <laughs> it's got a very papery smell to it. The fruits. Pear. Orange. Cherry. Peach. And apple. We have a lot more fruit now in the game. <laughs> oh, all the different seashells here. Some artwork of the characters fishing, catching a bug. Not really sure what's on this page. Doesn't look all that interesting. Oh, now we're getting into some we're getting into some of the cool stuff. Crazy red. Sahara. Gracie Grace. Wendell. Oh, mystery setting. There's just something about, like, the original style of Animal Crossing that I think hasn't been outdone. It looks better nowadays, but I can still play the GameCube game, or, well, the N64 game, and I still think it looks great because of its style. Oh, this is very cool. They have on both pages here the process of the trees changing as the months go by. <laughs> the 
talking about an igloo, gives us some dates. So February 14th until March 14th, igloos pop up. Spring has some flags. Oh, wow, look at that. Chip used to look a lot different. He's got glasses and he's got like squinty eyes. <sighs> That's pretty cool. Jack. Jack's one of my favorites. Oh, got some cool home ideas here. Oh, look at that. It's all chess, like a chess set. It's a distant planet. All fruit. It's a temple. Oh, that's kind of like Legend of Zelda temple, I guess they were trying to go for there. The pages are pretty thick, too. Pretty well printed. I'm assuming, oh, you know what? Actually, I think these are a bunch of animal homes. Possibly. There's a lot of cool ones here, though. Pee Wee. I think that's Pee Wee's home. I'm not sure. <laughs> My goodness, this says Happy Room Catalog. <laughs> How amazingly Japanese is that? They meant to say catalog, but it says catalog. <laughs> I guess this is going to talk about how you can get tons of points. That is like the perfect example of the like perfect room for the HRA the colors. I never do that. I guess maybe I should try it sometime. So now we are getting into the furniture sets and I gotta say I absolutely adore how this is laid out. I think this looks so cool how they have each piece of furniture and then they show it on an overall zoomed out perspective and then they show it in like an action perspective got your little numbers by each piece of furniture and then you look up here it tells you how many bells it is and it tells you its name also have the wallpaper and flooring so yeah I just really really love the way that they laid out the furniture we have the ranch series I just noticed um, on the left side of the page, there's a picture of K.K. Slider. And then on the right side, it's the same picture, but he has his back turned. Which is pretty cool. Classic. I think this is the classic series. The green series. modern stuff. I think a lot of boys back in the day were really big on collecting the modern stuff from what I remember. <laughs> I remember my cousin. My cousin was pretty big on that. We used to play a lot. The lovely furniture. <laughs> it's a good one for girls or boys who like lovely things. Cabana. Regal maybe? cabin furniture. What's this? <laughs> We've got a little marker from the previous owner of this book. <laughs> I guess they really wanted the cabin stuff. Or maybe the Jingle series. <laughs> yeah, I just love the way this is set up. This is so great. Oh, that's really disappointing because in the new Animal Crossing games, you can't get a pumpkin anymore. That's been taken out. I think so, yeah. I don't think that's there anymore. Maybe because you can wear that on your head now. It's an accessory or a helmet. Um, it's very close to Halloween. So looking at this series of furniture is pretty great. Got the snowman stuff too. I have all this in my home right now in New Leaf. space set of furniture 
And then over here is, I think this is, these are items that they got rid of, unfortunately, I think. The rocks, all the different rocks, they should bring those back. It's kind of fun going through this because we get a chance to see things that they've abandoned in the series. Oh wow, I've already spotted a few items that are not in the game anymore, or maybe weren't even in the GameCube game. This little stepping thing, I don't think that's in there. I don't think that is in the construction set anymore. I don't think any of these signs are. This little traffic guy is amazing. All of these aren't in there. Wow. The construction set used to be so cool on the Nintendo 64. <laughs> We've got the bathroom set. This is something I've never seen. A lot of these things I've never seen before. Chess set. Some more Japanese garden stuff. Another Japanese room here. <laughs> Orange, grapefruit, limes, watermelons, pear, apples, all these different flower chairs. I think we're in the miscellaneous items now. stuff. Oh wow, the Nintendo 64 logo. I totally forgot about that. I just love this book. It's like a really cool kind of coffee table book to me. <laughs> just looking at all the pictures, it's like you don't even need to understand what's being written. Ooh, the Dharmas. I'm not sure if there's still three dharmas in the game anymore. I think there's only two, a big one and a little one. The bears, the cats, totem poles. Some musical instruments down here. <laughs> this TV is pretty great. It makes, I think that's the one that makes a really great repeated beat. It's just, this little bit of music of the girl singing. A pineapple bed. Oh, look at the texture. Look at the textures on these. It's pretty, pretty fantastic. Oh, we've got some artwork that we could buy. Also some more musical instruments. And then here's a bunch of clocks. I love the owl clock. Some plants. A lot of plants. And then the tanuki. The lucky frogs. Oh, these are definitely not in the game anymore. Uh. It's pretty cool. I like the elephant slide. This is like some toy stuff for like a cool play themed room. And then we have over here, I believe this would be the equivalency of NES games, the Famicoms. Four garbage cans, some golf clubs. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's like a whole piece of furniture there. Takes up half your wall. I wonder if there's anything that's particularly expensive down here. Maybe I should keep an eye on the prices. <laughs> so now we are getting into the wallpaper and carpet. And what's really funny is it says it in English. Let's see if there's anything in particular that they don't have in the game anymore. It looks like all this stuff is still in the game. 
space themed in the cabin. Music room floor, green flooring, cowhide rug, <laughs> some bamboo stuff. Yeah, even back on the Nintendo 64, it seems like they had a lot of the game kind of figured out. Um, I believe Blathers and the museum are not in the Nintendo 64 game. So I guess that would mean that fossils are not here either. We'll have to keep our eye out for fossils and see if that's true. So now we're getting into the clothing. Of course, this was back when you couldn't get accessories and crazy stuff like that with your hair. This was before the characters even had ears. <laughs> they couldn't hear a thing. I like how the, fern or the clothing has really long arms. Grape t-shirt, kiwi, orange. Just a bunch of cool shirts here. <laughs> a lot of numbered shirts. <laughs> the froggy shirt. Circuit. I'm just taking my time looking. I like how they've got the little models here, showing off some of the cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Mario shirt. Oh, wow. That's a really cool shirt. That one is definitely not in the game anymore. It's a Nintendo 64 shirt. Surprised they don't have that one being modeled off. And it looks like it looks like most of these shirts are pretty cheap. Although maybe nowadays they're all the same price. Hmm. I'm not sure. This definitely looks like there's quite a bit of variation in the pricing for the shirts. That one I don't know if it's in the game anymore. I recognize that one. <laughs> he looks like a caterpillar. Now we are into umbrellas. <laughs> I like how you can't even really see the daisy umbrella. Strawberry umbrella and an orange. Some lacy girly umbrellas. Flowers, leaf, snowflake, fire. Ooh, we're in the letter pad area, according to that. Stationary, in other words. Oh boy, look at that. The Halloween stationary. <laughs> it looks a lot cooler than it does now, I think. Some watermelon. Oh, look over here. Little ghosts and raindrops falling down. I think that when Animal Crossing comes to Wii U, it would be really neat if you could actually use the gamepad screen to hand write on the stationery and send that to your friends. It would make it more personal. I mean, because if you look at it, these are about the size of the gamepad screen. So it would be so cool. It would be like a virtual postcard. A lot of this stationery looks like it's different. I don't really recall a lot of this. That firework paper is really cool. Tropical sunset. Some spooky looking trees. Wow. Oh. <laughs> These are translated to clay figure. These are the gyroids, of course. <laughs> I 
I really like seeing all the gyroids set up like this. There's a lot of colorful, crazy designs. Clankoids, poltergoids, squilchoids. I think those are the squilchoids. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So they do have fossils in the game. Maybe you just got them automatically. Like when you dug it up, it just gave you the fossil. Because they're not being displayed in a museum in these pictures. K.K. Yeah. Slider. Here's a list of all the dude's music. Over on the right side, it's talking about items that you can interact with when you touch them. <laughs> I think that's what it's doing. Yeah, that's definitely. What does that say? Happy room. Oh, oh wow. This artwork for the girl is actually pretty smooth. It's not very blocky. A bunch of the fish. Eel, I see a loach, a bluegill, goldfish, an arapaima, sea bass, of course. I remember, yeah, see, back in these days, there wasn't a black bass. It was a small bass, a medium-sized bass, and then a big bass. Oh, that's all the fish, huh? Yeah, just the two pages. Here's all the buggies. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Look at that boy. That's some pretty high quality artwork as well. <sighs> okay, now we're getting into the crazy stuff. <laughs> Bunch of the animals. Let's see how many of these I can name. I think his name is Bill. I don't know, I don't know. Joey. Um, Freckles? Or something, Fricker Frickers? <laughs> something with an F? Uh, he's Lucky. That's Lucky, because he's in bandages. That's Cookie. Snake. Hmm. Some frogs and his, I think that's Rocco. Um, that's Cousteau. I have him in my town. Um, Nate as Grizzly. I think his name is Cody. I think I should know, because he's in my town. <laughs> I haven't bothered to get to know him. I like this bear. He's supposed to be, I think, like a caveman bear. Some elephants and gorillas. <laughs> Twiggy. And... There's a lot of animals here for the N64. Oh, wow. I have a feeling that there aren't this many ostriches or whatever you want to call them anymore. I don't think he's in the game anymore. I don't think he is. He's got a Luigi shirt on. Pigs. I really like Hopper. Hopper is pretty great. Oh, wow. He's definitely not in the game anymore. Rasher is really, really smiling there. <laughs> There's not a single lamb that I like. Oh, well, that one's pretty cool. It's got a star on its cheek. Oh, oh, look at Cube. Cube the penguin. He has a Nintendo 64 shirt on. <laughs> Aurora. And now, we are looking at the Famicom games. It's kind of cool how they even mention the games in here. 
pinball and golf. I remember actually playing the pinball game quite a bit. Donkey Kong, Clue Clue Land. <laughs> I just noticed at the bottom of the pages now, if you look, it's Mystery Seti and then um, Mystery Seti Not Angry. So, angry? Not angry. Balloon Fight. Uh, some tennis. And that's it. I think this is at the end here, just like a glossary of all the items, I would assume. A lot of people are disappointed that the NES games are not in it anymore, but I kind of feel like they're not needed and they do sort of distract from your Animal Crossing experience. And this was really back in the day where you couldn't get these games anymore. I mean, you couldn't even go online really to buy them. So you had to go to like garage sales and stuff. So it was an interesting idea back then, but not so much anymore. I also think maybe they put them in the game to make it sell better. Because this was like back in the day when Animal Crossing, people probably looked at it and thought it looked really primitive and it was a very different kind of idea. So having those N64 games in it helped out. Or I'm sorry, having the NES games in it. Yeah, this is just a big, big checklist. Boop. <laughs> so that is the original guidebook for Animal Crossing on the N64. I really, really like this book. That was my first time looking through it. I think it is really, really well put together, and it's very fun to look at. So, all right, that is going to conclude this week's relaxing ASMR video. Um, as always, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to favorite it so you can watch it anytime you want to relax. And if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to the BitBlock for a bunch of original Nintendo coverage. Alright, 